If you wish to support us further, please turn off Adblock and refresh the page. There's also a donation link in the description below so that I can stop having to take Kirby Kaze's money. <laughs> What's up guys? You have previously comprehended that it is indeed me, Kira. And today, we are going over the neutral game with Peach. To start, at super far ranges, you always want to be pulling turnips. Turnips not only have longer range than your attacks, but you can follow up with your own move to apply pressure over a long period of time. Not to mention, the more turnips you pull, the more chances you get to get a super good one, like a dot face, a stitch, or even a bomb. Once you start pulling enough of them, good players will try to hit you during the pull animation. If your opponents are positioned closer to you, you may want to just start attacking without a turnip in hand. The second thing to note is at what height you begin your float. Full hop floats are useful at far ranges so that your turnip throws cover more distance. They can also catch double jumps if done closer to your opponent. The downside is that using an aerial from this height can get you shield grabbed or crouch cancelled since there's a long period of time between the actual hit and when you reach the ground to do your secondary attack. Floating at a height around the opponent's head level is most often used. Most characters don't have the best hitboxes above and in front of them, and must resort to jumping up to reach this height. This also stays out of grab range, while being close enough to the ground so that you won't get shield grabbed if your aerial hits their shield. Instant floats, or ground level floats, are mostly to apply pressure. You're really not floating at all, only just barely enough to activate your float cancel. This is usually done for shield pressure or to stop an approach very quickly. Forward air is rarely used at this height. For the most part, you'll be using forward air to approach. It's the most standard approach that has both super high priority and strong knockback to allow you to follow up. Once you've begun your forward air, you still have influence over where you land. In general, falling forwards is to catch people trying to dash away from you, while falling backwards is when they run at you. But each influence is very subtle and takes a lot of practice to recognize when you first start out. Many opponents will try to get you to land forward, but stay just barely out of range in order to hit you immediately after. In this case, you'll have to mix up your fall to throw off their spacing. If you haven't already hit them after landing from your forward air, you have a lot of options for your secondary attack. 1. Attack in place usually with a jab, an instant flow cancel nair, or even a grab. This is to stop anyone trying to attack you right after you've landed. 2. Dash attack. Dash attack catches them if they're still waiting for your attack in place, or another noob option, like spot dodge or down smash. 3. Dash back. This is a more defensive slash reactive option if you think they will attack but aren't quite sure how. Typically this transitions into your own dash dance, a quick instant float cancel back here if you see them running at you, or simply to gain distance to pull another turnip. 4. Jump and float again. This is used to start your attack again, but at a closer, more threatening position. This can also be good against dash dance camping, but covers many other options as well. Thanks for watching guys! The Peach Intermediate Neutral Game video is coming very soon, so keep an eye out for that and good luck approaching.